Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Civilization 5 playing as Byzantium with the common uh, community balance not common sense community balance mod pack. All right. <clears throat> Still in the middle of a massive war with Brazil and we need to be pretty careful I think because there's a very good chance we will start to lose units if we are not careful and I do not want to lose any more than I have to at this point. I do want America to take the brunt of the losses. However, I do not want America to take the majority of the cities. Because if America gets a ton of war score, who knows what they're going to do with it, you know? They'll get big and powerful, have a lot of culture generation, and I'll be just a nobody who got nothing out of this war. Who knows? I mean, America could even try to take Brazil as a vassal. And if that happens, I'm screwed. So, we do need to be very careful and very tactical over the next while. Uh, you want my lapis. Of interest to you. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good deal, I guess. How about 17 gold per turn? Is that better? I can work with 17 gold per turn. Thank you! Thank you for your money. Making almost 400 gold per turn, as long as my happiness doesn't go away. The 22 from ideological pressure is definitely because of the world ideology of autocracy, so the sooner we get rid of that, the better. We are currently the wealthiest person on the planet, which is pretty cool. We also got a great musician. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about, where we want to be very, very careful what we're going to do. Um, can I kill this Lancer? Yep. Whoops, wait. Set up. Kill. Okay, can you get out? Ah! Camera, stop it! Mesomedes of Crete. Never heard of this guy. Him to the muse. What are you musing about, I wonder? Alright, back off. Can I? You know, there used to be a time where I thought that I could actually like stack up artillery with my melee units, but I, I do believe I was wrong about that. Still. Can you go into Bratislava? Nope. If you go into the water, you'll still be within bombardment range, so why don't we heal you up? We'll let you do some damage to the riflemen. They'll be less likely to attack that way. And you're in a slightly precarious position, but I will be backing you off. I do not want to lose these artillery. They have too many upgrades. Losing those would truly be tragic. Varna, go ahead and take a pot shot at this guy here. I'm aware, by the way, that there's a ton of aluminum, and I would love nothing better than to buy the tiles and take them. The problem is I think that they will just pillage the crap out of them, which is not quite what I have in mind. I do think I'm going to send a land ship up here to the north. Maybe, just maybe, we can actually land and just take this city real quick while it's super duper weak. You never know. I mean, land ships might be able to pull that off. It is worth a shot. Okay, so we did go to a great person. I actually forgot to address something a couple videos ago, and I should have. Um, someone left a comment saying, wouldn't it be better just to, like, click the button that would, like, swap and optimize your great works? And I had no idea what you were talking about until now. So, yeah, let's try this. I know that in Santiago, the Uffizi does not have a theming bonus, but pretty much everything else does. So let's do this and see if we get any bonuses. Okay, we just got a few different um, museum bonuses. We still have this here, and Edinburgh, and Santiago, apparently no, but we do get a little bit more just from the museum, so, I mean, that's not bad. Huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, um... That's, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool button, and I wish I had known that existed sooner. But now I know. So as I continue to get great works, I will be clicking that more often, and hopefully it'll be put to good use. Uh, in Constantinople, what do we want now? Um, you are worried about being impoverished, right? Nope, you're worried about danger. I don't think I have anything that will reduce the danger. Hospitals will reduce poverty a fair bit. Units in this city heal 15 points per turn whether or not they take an action. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hospital's not bad, but I would want to have that on the front lines. I'm instead going to start building another ironclad, maybe even two. Because that could be kind of useful to uh, use against Brazil. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You're just going to have to heal up for now. There's nowhere for you to go except for the ocean tile, which is arguably a little less safe. Uh, and I think that's just going to have to be good enough for now. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. We're about to vote on repealing world ideology of autocracy. We're about to try building things like the United Nations and so on, which could be good, but also could be really bad. Um, I'm not convinced I want to put a lot of effort into the United Nations. It's mostly for diplomatic victory stuff. 
There is, of course, the chance that America will pick it up, but uh, I will be wasting many turns of very valuable production if I do go for it, so... That might be one that I decide I want to skip, which I'm loath to do, but... I may kind of have to. We'll see. Uh, I do see a few things hanging out over here. Cannon, Fusilier, Ironclad. Actually, that Ironclad's gonna need to die if I am gonna send a land ship up here to try and take the city. And an Ironclad uh, is able to just come through here and take it again. Well, maybe he can't, actually. No, the city's technically on this coast. It'd be okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's switch these guys around. Have you set up again. Uh, let's continue to damage... Okay, do I want to hit the city to try and damage the cannon? I think I want to hit the Fusiliers. Um, unfortunately, this guy has nowhere to go because America appears to be retreating. Let's pillage and back off. You pillage and stay there. You heal. You heal. Yeah, um... All right, go ahead and hit the Fusilier. It does appear, by the way, that they are... No, I'm unhappy. I have negative three happiness again. Dang it. There goes a bunch of science and gold production. It's really hard to manage the dang stuff. Uh, Varna, hit the Gatling gun. Maybe I should try sending... You know, we do have a bunch of aluminum here now. I'm going to send this uh, land ship down this away. And uh, we'll hold the Citadel for now. And if anyone gets closer, maybe I'll just kill them real quick. Try to hold on to that aluminum as much as we can. Oh, look! Fusiliers wandering around. I really don't want to have to send my land ship back. That might be what you insist that I do, but I really would rather you didn't. Uh, I'm not interested in spending money for food right now. Uh, in Antioch... What does Antioch need? Money. Followers. Followers, huh? You know, I think if I sent um, an Inquisitor here, that actually would speed that up a little bit. If I go for a bank, that would get me some more money production, which would reduce the poverty ultimately. Because don't forget, it's not just about picking up a, uh, a building that says reduces poverty or something like that. You know, every city has a different need, and if the city starts producing more money as a whole, even if the bank doesn't directly reduce poverty, it doesn't change the need modifier, just producing more money is a good thing. So that could be helpful. <laughs> Alternatively, no, you know, I think it is a good idea to just go for a bank. In fact, I'm going to spend some money to try and speed it up a little bit. I am going to get an Inquisitor. We'll try to uh, purge Antioch. Actually, let's get a couple more Inquisitors. Because I'd like to get rid of some of the religious pressure coming from Seville and Madrid, if I can. Looks like the Empire State Building has been built. Unfortunate. Uh, and yes, having that extra aluminum can be nice. I mean, heck, if we could get more aluminum and get a strategic monopoly, extra healing power is not half bad. Don't underestimate it, guys. It could be pretty good. It could be pretty good. Okay, anything else? We're about to get a great artist. I don't think I can take any more shots. These guys are trying to heal. Kabul did get taken over. I could rush an ironclad down here and try to take it back, but I'm not sure it would last. So Brazil's probably about to start sending their troops up north. And America seems to be pulling back, which makes me nervous. So yeah. Archaeology. Get ourselves a Byzantine artifact. Um, you know what? Why don't you come down here toward the shoreline? We may need to continue bombarding over this uh, direction. Yeah, I mean, just taking this city-state wouldn't be a terrible idea. Get access to some copper. Also more antiquity sites and more oil. And pearls. You never know. Could be pretty good. Also an opportunity to get some more war score. Or we could just liberate the city-state. Not sure if I'm going to do that, but I could. Kiev has been captured by America. Kiev. I thought I thought Kiev was already America's, but apparently not. We'll repair that iron. Let's go ahead and create a new great work. Uh, we probably should... Oh, wow, how very passionate. Hmm, sexy. Uh, let's go to this button here again. Can I swap and optimize? It's not appear I've gotten anything new. It's trying to make Santiago work. It looks like another museum has actually been um, populated. This button is amazing. Why didn't I know about this sooner is all I want to know. All right, let's back you up. Back you up. Uh, attack the Tercio. Kill this Tercio. Set up. Kill the Tercio. Okay, more melee units down. Keep the Ironclad in reserve. I do not want to put him in a dangerous position right now. 
I will allow the Americans and Bratislava to deal with him. The Ironclad is mine. Okay, let's purge Antioch. That should get me up to 22 followers now, and yes, that should have gotten me a fair bit of happiness. What do you want? You want more followers as well. You know what? Forget Madrid. Let's go here and purge. Yep, okay, that does count for a bit. Anyone else want more followers? You do. Three? Oh my gosh, come down here. Perch! Alright, now we're back in the positive. Not bad. I did not actually think that I would be that effective, but it is. It is worth paying attention, ladies and gentlemen. It is worth paying attention. Go back to Varna. And try to hit this stupid Fusilier before it's able to hit Varna. Who is still currently working on a castle. Dublin! Kill the Lancers. You! Kill the cannon. <laughs> okay. Um, what are the odds you can get down here and take some pot shots before these guys become much of a threat? Vatican City, are you going to be okay, buddy? I think you will be. I mean, you've got infantry. You should be fine. One would think. I've been wrong before, though. Do we have strategic monopoly on horses? Antioch is using more horses than we have. It is? Since when? Huh. I'm not, uh, I'm not actually that sure, but okay. America got a strategic monopoly on horses. It's tragic. I would love to have that strategic monopoly, actually. Uh, do we want to go for cover? Yeah, let's make these guys a little bit tankier. I am going to back the Great General up a tick. They'll still provide a bonus, but if this guy gets uh, slaughtered somehow, I'm less likely to lose a general in the process, which is good. We'll go ahead and start moving these guys back toward the front line, just so they can provide some covering bombardment if anything does get into range. And next turn. Plastics, you can't get here soon enough. I would love to have you. What is this? Research lab. An enemy is near. Ironclad. We want to blow this up. But we also have enemy paratroopers. That's something we have to be careful about. Okay, why don't you... Can you pillage? There was nothing actually there to pillage. It looks like you destroyed a road instead. Or a railroad. So, okay, let's hit the ironclad. You set up. You kill it. You hit the paratrooper. And you switch places with this guy so he can heal safely. Nice. All right. Do we want to go for rationalism in order to get the extra science? Whenever we're happy, an extra 5%. It's not bad. We also would get a golden age, which is pretty good. Alternatively... <laughs> All cities get two citizens immediately. Wow. Mm. No. Hmm. 15% attack bonus and 50% experience in friendly territory. If we were able to take a city and get in my borders, technically, that'd be really useful, but... Alternatively, uh, Dictatorship of the Proletariat. 34% tourism to all civilizations with less happiness. I would get more happiness from factories. Free courthouse upon city capture. I've had problems with this before. But not bad. This is very tempting. Alternatively, though, the rationalism. The science? I want the science. I need it. 5% science boost. Now we're up to 772, and the Golden Age makes things a lot easier for me. Okay, good. Varna. Uh, there's a lot of things to kill here. So... I'm not worried about the infantry. I think they're going to head home. Hit that. Okay. You go ahead and heal. You. You know what? Go ahead and do a little damage. I think you'll be okay. Just don't put yourself in too much of a risky position. We have another ironclad. Let's make them really good at naval warfare. Send them out to sea. You. Set up and destroy that fusilier. You hit the Gatling gun. You're in a good position. Land ship should back up. Do I get into the ocean? Yes. I'm going to get into the ocean and hope we don't lose anything. You go here and heal. Okay, next turn. Oh, wait, not. Uh, Adrianople. What do you need in Adrianople? More followers. Okay. I do want a hotel. That extra tourism will be good for me. So let's get that. Let's purchase ourselves another Inquisitor. Let's purchase a few. 
because I think I'm going to need them. In Constantinople... Oh, gosh. Um... Hmm. No. More ironclads, I think. These, uh... Oh, crap. Salamanca could be in danger. Didn't even really think about that, but please, uh, please hit them harder. Ooh, I should spend some money to buy, like, a land ship. Oh, wait, I can't. Constantinople, buy a land ship. And next turn, with the railroads being what they are, we should be able to get down there fairly rapidly. Uh, better against cities, or I think I'll go for the flank attack, flank attack, and better against wounded units. 25% is certainly nothing to sneeze at. Everything else looking pretty good? Salvador is about to fall, actually. That should draw Brazil's attention. If we could get in range and really start focusing down the city, that would be great. Got three units that need to heal up, though. We'll see. Next turn. Let's just sort of see how Brazil responds to all of this. They're getting pressured pretty hard. America's moving forward again. Uh, my ironclad is starting to get surrounded, which does make me a wee bit nervous. Light destroyed some farms. Where can you go? You can go here. Go there. Um, just heal up for the time being. I don't want to risk him. Alright, let's send this guy down to Salamanca and attack. He should be able to push that infantry off pretty easily. Do we want to start focusing a bit more on the city, or do I want to continue hitting the units? I think we need to hit the units so that America can survive with their infantry and push forward a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's reduce their paratroopers. You heal. You heal. Inquisitor, purge Adrianople. Uh, you actually go to Madrid. Purge them. You, do I want to go to Barcelona or Seville? You know what? Go to, uh, go to Barcelona. This artillery can probably move forward a little bit. Hello, land ship. Why don't you, uh, land over, uh, here? We destroyed an enemy fusilier by landing. I think we can take the city back. Should be no problem. We'll heal you up. In Varna... You probably just need more defenses, don't you? We should get, like, an arsenal. Let's spend some money to rush it. Use the land ship to almost kill it, then back off and heal. Okay, he'll retreat. In Antioch, money, danger, danger Will Robinson, danger. Chancery? Hmm. <laughs> You're not getting any great people really anytime soon. I could just get some more, like, archaeologists. The forge will do what for me? Mines are better? I don't have very many mines here is the problem. Still, could be a good thing to get. Alternatively, the stock exchange. Lots of gold. It's gonna take a long time, though. Get, um, get another archaeologist. Get a couple of them, in fact. Let's try to get some more of these uh, hidden antiquity sites running. The sooner the better, right? Of course. In Nikea, you need less crime. I do think having military units here would fix that problem. But given that that's not an option, let's get a stock exchange for the gold production. And being very happy now is producing some pretty nice benefits. We're getting an extra 10% to science, culture, and uh, faith in everything, actually, across the board. I like having happy empires. That's a pretty substantial difference. I don't know if you're noticing that we're making like 581 gold per turn now. Almost 800 science. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Hey, Salvador is captured. That's excellent. And you're doing fine where you are. And my next ironclad is heading up north as we speak. Okay. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. Uh, we definitely want to take a city or two before America can. Um, not sure how we're going to pull it off, but it would be a good thing if we can. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you then.